Hello, Jody here. This video is um, the first of a series I hope to do um, in which I combine two ideas. First, I've been asked to make some guitar videos. I've got quite a few banjo and mandolin videos on YouTube, but none with guitar, at least where I'm talking about the guitar and demonstrating something. And of those videos that I have up there, the ones that, that um, seem particularly enjoyed by viewers are the ones where I show my own process of, of deciding how to learn a new piece or how to play it, how to arrange it. Why do I use my right and left hand in the way that I do in playing each phrase? And so I thought I would combine that with flat picking some tunes on the guitar. Now, this is a plectrum, otherwise known as a flat pick. It's not curved like a thumb pick. And there is um, a bizarre and wrong idea out there in guitar land that Jody Stecker, that's me, dislikes flat picking. I've been, <laughs> I've been using a pick since I was 12 years old. I'm six weeks short of 76 years old now. And I've been using it every day, <laughs> every day since I was 11. Um, I made a mild statement many years ago to the effect that I didn't think that flat picking was a genre of music. I think flat picking is a technique. Somehow, if I play, somebody plays what was originally a fiddle tune on the guitar and they use a straight pick, a plectrum, that's flat picking. Now, if I use this same plectrum on a mandolin, it's not flat picking. And if I play any other kind of music, it's not flat picking. So Chuck Berry's not a flat picker. Django Reinhardt, no. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, that's it. I mean, it was just a, a question of semantics. And, and then, what's the word I'm looking for? It's something with an N. Nomenclature, yeah. So, let's start with Miller's Reel. Now, is this Miller's Reel or the Miller's Reel? The history of this tune is murky, but fiddlers play it in A. And when this tune or something very similar to it is played in Ireland, it's usually in G and called the Dawn. which is a nice title. So the first question is, if we're going to play it along with the fiddle player who will be playing it in A, do we play with a capo and use G fingering, or do we play it without a capo in A fingering? I find that without the capo, there are certain passages which are very, very difficult on the right hand because we have to skip a string with rapid down up. So I'll show you what I mean. So far, no problem. Now, uh oh, I'm not going to, I'm going to have to skip. So we could do it an octave lower. disturbing the architecture of the tune and I'm, I'm having to skip over a string but we do have this nice low low E but we can get that play it in G fingering and 
and we can have consecutive down and ups on consecutive strings and we can still get this E by capoing five strings. So I couldn't use that. So I wouldn't finger it out of a G position like this without using my index finger. This to me makes more sense. I'm not using the full C chord because there's only three notes involved here. So I just move this. Right hand, obviously, to me, wherever there would be a foot tap, there'd be a down stroke. So I wouldn't go down, up, down, up, down, up. You know, a very good flat picker was Barney McKenna, Irish tenor banjo player. He had no patterns in his right hand. He'd go up or down anywhere, and he made it sound great. Um, me, it's easier to, to, to sound good if I go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Same pattern four times. But I could do stuff with this. I could go. Or I could go. All on the D string. mixing an unwound string with a wound one. Got a little buzz today. Bzzz. A little fatter. I'll do it both ways. We could also do some slurs, you know, like with a hammer. could also go down, up drag. Yeah. It's, it's um, how can I put this? Um, it's doing with the pick what I would do with a fiddle bow. Yeah, beat him. Now we come to this. I'm not going to go, sounds like a doorbell, I'll get my next note, two frets higher. I'm changing my grid now, using my index finger on what would be the first fret if there wasn't a capo. Now, when I first came to the San Francisco Bay Area in the late 1960s, I met a musician from Ireland who lived here in San Francisco. They played the two-row button accordion, and he had a fantastic repertoire and a great way of playing. His name was Joe Cooley, and I did not know that he was a legend back in Ireland. I used to run into him all over the Bay Area. I, he would be with a jackhammer tearing up the streets in San Francisco. I, I met him one time um, in the student union at the University of California in Berkeley. Um, I, was, uh, in, <laughs> I was in need of a toilet and, and uh, that one was near where, where I was walking. I went in there. He was in there fixing the men's room. He was attacking the plumbing. Um, he did all, all sorts of jobs, and 
he had a fantastic version of Miller's reel, which he called the Dawn. And I, I took some of some of his ideas and put it in how I played on the guitar and other instruments. For instance. this part down. I could go down, up, down, up, down. Every time you have a triplet, a down, up, down, it's the same as a down, up. The next thing is going to be a down, usually. But I could also go up, down, up, down. And sometimes I find I reflexively do that. Um, I think down, up, down, up, down, up sounds a little better. Yeah, they're both good. I could go, but also one downstroke. Put a little harp sound in there. We we'll need these glasses. And then we'll walk down and repeat. Let's use this. Or uh, yeah, like there. rumble out of the guitar. Another uh, nomenclature question. So is this a fiddle tune? I'm playing it on the guitar and I learned some of it from an accordion player. It's a tune. All right. Part two. Come on. So that's just down, up, down, up, down. Now we come to this. I usually play it like this with my right hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I down stroke and I drop it in the same stroke to the next string. I drop my right hand. compared to ah. this separates two threes more clearly now we come to this I find this a bit awkward sometimes sometimes my fingernail gets in the way so I often go like this. See? Cooley had a great variation. He went, um, Something like this. Now I can do it like this, same right hand. It's a bit of a stretch, it's worse in G, not so bad with the capo on, but we could also do it like this. Just make this D chord position whoop, up here.
by the way, you see I'm using different pick grips and I get different sound. If I, if I have it like this, it's a bigger, fatter sound. And if I do it like this, it's a little more silvery and pointed and a little more clear. And I, sometimes I need one and sometimes the other. Um, so I think that's all I have to say today about Miller's Reel or The Miller's Reel or The Dawn on the guitar. Flat picking the guitar with a flat pick. <laughs>